Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and as you can see, I have a Samsung Galaxy S8 and a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus here, both with the new Android 8.0 Oreo update, as well as the Samsung Experience 9.0 update. Now, if you go into the settings really quick over here and over here, and if you scroll all the way down and you go to About Phone on each phone, uh, you'll see that the uh, About Phone area has actually been modified with the Android update. And if you do go to the software information on both of these smartphones, you'll see that the Android has been updated from 7 to 8, and Samsung Experience has been updated from 8 to 9, here and here. That's the same exact thing you get on the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus, so the entire software experience is now equivalent to the S9 and the S9 Plus. And of course, with the Samsung smartphones, you have the Android update, and you have the Samsung Experience update, which is the uh, Samsung's own overlay atop Android so you get two tier of updates on both of these smartphones and of course in this video we'll be doing a deep dive and we're going to take a look at all the different updates that you get on these smartphones uh, with some new features and enhancements that are going to make your life even better with the S8 and the S8 Plus. So let's dive in and discover what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the S8 out of the screen and just concentrate on the S8 Plus but everything is exactly the same on both smartphones. So let's dive in. All right, so the first thing I want to take a look at is the actual keyboard modification. So keyboard has seen a slight modification uh, with the new updates. So if I go to the messages and if I pull up the keyboard, uh, you'll see something on the top here that you have not seen before. Now, prior to the update, the settings buttons were down here. They were hidden here. You would press the settings and it would expand like a little menu and you would go in and get some options. Now you get all the options on the top here. So basically, if I want to access additional settings, I can tap this arrow button and that gives me more options such as the clipboard and the one-handed mode, which I can also touch to reorder. So if I grab and hold this, I can actually grab this and I can put it over here. Uh, and that modifies the layout of the actual keyboard to make it more convenient for my own purposes. And of course, if I tap the arrow back, it goes right back up. And one thing that they have added with the new keyboard is actually live GIF images you can uh, share with other people. So on the top, you see a row of uh, icons. Uh, if you tap this one over here, this is the stickers. But if you tap this, that's called the Giphy GIF browser that is now built into your actual keyboard. And from here, uh, you can go ahead and you can pick up GIFs and you can send it to other people. So if I wanted to grab this guy right over here, I just tap on it, it sends it right there. I click send and then you can send that over to your uh, friends or whoever you want, okay? So that's one addition to the keyboard, uh, the layout of the actual keyboard on the top row here, and of course the addition of the GIF images. All right, so let's take a look at the next stuff uh, that you get with the update. The next thing I wanna talk about is called the app icon badges. Now, as you can see, I have sent myself a new text message and on my text message application, you see a tiny red dot on the top right of the actual app. So this is called an app icon badge and it's actually notifying me that I've got a new notification in this nice and clean way. And of course, there's an option you can actually customize. So if you press and hold on the screen and before I go into the settings, I'll let you know really quickly that the wallpapers and themes buttons were actually one button on the, uh, on, the, on the phone prior to the update, but with the new Android Oreo update and the Samsung Experience update, you now have one button for, for wallpapers and one button for themes, and then you have widgets and home screen settings, and you have four icons at the bottom. Without the actual update, you only had three buttons. You had a wallpapers and themes button, a widgets button, and a home screen and settings uh, button. So let's go to the home screen and settings. And as you can see, there's a new option here known as the app icon badges. And if I tap onto this, well, first and foremost, I can just turn this off. And if I turn that off, if I go back out, that tiny red dot disappears because it is a customizable option. But if I do go back inside here, uh, go to the home screen settings and go uh, uh, actually enable this, I can go inside here and I have all these extra options, uh, one, two, three options. So the first option is you can do show with number. If I tap this, uh, the app icon badge actually turns from a circular red dot into a red dot with numbers in it. So if I go back out, now it says one in that little circle. If I had two text messages, it would say two. So let me send myself one more text message. You can see the uh, difference. So now, as you can see with the new text message, it says 
two, notifying me that I have two new text messages. Now there's one more option you can play with in here, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, if I go back into the settings over here, go to home screen settings, and if I go to app icon badges again, scroll all the way down, enable this show notifications option. Now before I enable this option, if I go back out here, and if I press and hold on the messages application, it's gonna give me a little menu, which is normal. Prior to the new update, this is the same thing you'll see over here. But if I go back in, and if I enable that option that I just showed you guys, this one over here, now when I press and hold, you'll get a small badge at the bottom that gives you a preview of your latest notification, which in this case are two text messages from Saki. It says two, and it shows me the latest text message, which, which, was, uh, which was hey. The next change uh, with the new update has to do with the lock screen. So if I go to the lock screen right now, let me show you the lock screen. Uh, as you can see, there's a clock here and there's a bunch of notifications, okay? So this clock is completely and fully customizable with the Android 8.0 and Samsung uh, Experience update. So what you can do is you can go to the settings over here. Uh, you can go into the lock screen and security. And then if you scroll down, you can go to clock and face widgets. You tap on the clock. And if you tap on the clock style, uh, you'll get uh, this uh, option here uh, on the top here says always on display I'm gonna show you how that works also that has been uh, turned off right now but here's the lock screen clock uh, at the bottom you have two icons it says type and color so you can pick a clock so you can pick this clock let me show you all the clocks really quick this clock this clock this clock this one this one this one this one this one and after you pick a, a clock you can tap on the color and you can pick one of these uh, preset colors over here, or you can tap on this and you get a color wheel and you can pick any color that you want, as you can see, and that's gonna reflect in the lock screen. Now, if I go all the way back over here, uh, this is an automatically generated color. Basically, if you tap on this, it actually picks a color that blends in with the actual background automatically, okay? So that's a re really nice option. Uh, I like to pick my own color, so let's uh, pick the uh, green one over here just so you can see clearly and then of course if you go back to type let's just pick a little something a little bit more exciting if I tap this guy here and if I click apply now that's the new uh, lock screen of uh, clock so let me turn this off turn on and boom that's the clock that we had just changed the next thing you can do is you can fully customize uh, these options over here so let's go back in there and let's go to these settings and of course, as I traverse through the menu and go back and change settings and go back and forth, you can also see that the new update is quite stable and smooth, so you don't have to expect any kind of extra lag if there was any lag on your phone. With the new update, the phone is even more smooth and more stable, and it flows like butter, okay? Just an observation. But going back to the lock screen and security, uh, what you can do is if you scroll down just a little bit, you can tap on notifications, and from here, you can actually change the way notifications are displayed on your smartphone. So basically uh, over here you can hide the content which shows you the no no notification but it actually hides the content. If I disable this it would show me exactly what was in the notifications. So you can hide the content or if you want to actually minimize your uh, overall experience you can go for a mo more minimalist approach and you can say notification icons only, then you'll only see the icons over there. And then there's a bunch of options here that get enabled or disabled based on your choices. So let me show you what this looks like first uh, if you choose notification icons only. So that's a nice and clean look. Uh, if I turn this off and go back to the lock screen, uh, you see the icons at the bottom, clock on the top, and it's a nice and clean look. But if you want a little more detail, uh, you can disable this, uh, you can disable this, and also, now you can see everything, and you can also change the transparency of, the, of that um, actual icon, as you can see. And also, you can choose this option, uh, Auto Reverse Text Color, which makes sure the background and the text here contrast with each other. But again, if I do it like this, just to give you an uh, example, if I go back out, uh, you see the full content of every uh, notification. And also, and also you see the, uh, the, 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 there's a strip for each notification as you can see from here. And even you can access some settings such as that 
uh, which is the snooze notification option. So let's cancel that, go back inside, and then let's go back to the settings, lock screen and security, and that was under notifications. Now I like to keep mine, uh, hide the content and show icons only, which is a nice and clean look. Now let's move on to the next option. Uh, there have been some modifications to the always on display. So if I go back to the uh, lock screen and security, always on display is right here. You can enable this. Now, always on display has been on the phone for a while. And uh, the only thing that has changed here is the uh, layout of the menu. So here from the always on menu, you can enable or disable the always on display. And always on display is this. When you turn off the phone, you see a persistent display on the screen that never goes away and gives you some nice information uh, such as your uh, notifications and a clock. Okay, so this is something that's been here for a while on the Samsung smartphones. Uh, and here from here, you can actually modify what you want to see with the always on display. But prior to the update, prior to the 8.0 update, uh, you could actually customize the always on display inside this menu. Now that has changed, they have moved it. So what you want to do is you want to go back out and under lock screen and security, you want to scroll down to clock and face widgets. When you tap on it, you'll see that you can tap on the clock style and now the always on display because I turn it on is enabled. So lock screen here and that's the always on display. And at the bottom, you can uh, pick the type of the always on display. As you can see, you have all these different types. Let me go through uh, all of them here so you can see them. You got this guy, you have this one, and then you have, you have so many of them actually. Uh, we'll skip all of them, but you get the idea. Okay, so you can also download ones uh, from the actual themes and app store. I'll show you in a second. So basically, uh, let's pick this one over here as the always on display. And what else you can do is you can tap on the color here. You can pick any color you want as usual. Okay, this is an option that's been there. Uh, click apply. And then now you can customize your, your always on display from that uh, specific menu. Now, as you can see, that's the new one right there. Again, always on display has always been in the phone, but now if you want to modify it, if you want to customize it, uh, you go to the uh, lock screen and security and clock and face widgets and boom, it's right over here. Okay. And again, type and color modifications can be done here. If you want to download new always on displays, you tap and hold, you go to the theme store and you go over here to AODs. And from here, you can download even more always on displays and they'll all uh, get dumped into that menu that I just showed you. All right, let's move on to the next change. The next thing I want to talk about is the edge lighting. So let's go to the edge lighting uh, menu and let's go to uh, the display over here and let's scroll down a little bit and you have the edge screen. If you tap it, you have the edge screen. Uh, everybody knows the edge panels. There has been no change to the edge panels but the edge lighting has been enhanced for the better. So again, enable that and go inside. And then obviously the edge lighting is the option where if somebody sends you a text message, uh, if you get a call, if somebody, if you get any notification from any app, the edge of the screen lights up in a really nice way, as you can see here. So what you can do is now you can customize that even further. So all you wanna do is go to the edge lighting style and then you have a bunch of options over here. You have the effect you can pick, which is you have the basic effect. Uh, you know, let me change the color so you can see it better. So let me um, pick uh, yellow here so you can see it easily. And let me change the transparency, it's high. Okay, perfect. So let me just go back in there. So, okay, that's the effect that you get when you get a text message, a call, or a notification from any app that you choose. So you have a bunch of effects. You can do the basic, you can do the multicolor, you can do the uh, glow effect, okay? As you can see, I like that one myself. And you can do the glitter effect, which is this one here. And then after you pick an effect, let's just say we pick the glow effect. You can also go in and you can modify the color. So I can pick a uh, green one, as you can see. I can do red, or I can even go over here to the uh, wheel color, and I can pick any color that I want. Uh, such as green or I can tap this and it gets uh, custom modified to the app color so if the app is a green app this is going to show up as a, as a green notification 
On top of that, you can also change the transparency of the actual uh, notification. So as you can see, that's low transparency, that's high transparency. So you, so you see less with the high, you see uh, more with the low transparency, which is what I like to keep. And you can also go to the width and you can change the size of the actual uh, thickness of the actual notification. All right, so that's the edge lighting options that enhance even further uh, all your little options. Now, one thing we already looked at, but I want to go over again, is if you do go to the main settings screen over here, if you go all the way to the bottom and if you tap on about phone, uh, you did have this new revamped about phone section. Uh, this area is new. And what you can do is you can tap on edit and change the name of your smartphone right here. Uh, in the past, it was uh, somewhere here in this format, but this is the new look, which I appreciate. All right, so let's go back out. The next update has to do with the maps. So basically, if you're in the maps application and if you're actually uh, getting directions, what happens is when you press this button here, you actually get a smaller version of the maps on the screen and you can drag and drop. So this is called the picture in picture view. And then if you tap this button, it can expand a little bit. Uh, if you tap this button here, uh, it can go back into the full size. Uh, but if I go back out here, as you can see, it minimizes that window. And again, if I tap it, it expands, I can move it around. And if I want to get rid of it, I can just tap on X uh, right here and boom, it's gone. And finally, if you uh, pull down the notifications panel and if you go on top of any application and if you uh, swipe to the left or to the right, let me show you like this. So you can swipe to this way or this way, you get this new uh, icon here that is the snooze notifications icon. If you tap it, uh, you can snooze that particular not notification for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour or two hours if you so desire. So if I pick 15 minutes or 30 minutes and I click save, that notification will disappear, but it's gonna reshow uh, in 30 minutes. All right, so that's basically everything that I wanted to take a look at in this video. Uh, if I did miss something, which I'm sure I did, I want you guys to drop a comment down below so other people can see as well and you can have a discussion. And of course, I'm working on a next video where I'm gonna actually go over all the little details that I missed, but these were most of the major details that you should be concerned about. And as you see, we have looked uh, at them in depth. So again, it's a fantastic update. It basically makes your uh, uh, phone exactly like the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus from a software perspective. It adds all these new features and also adds uh, performance and stability to the phone. As you, can, as, as you saw, as I was uh, going back and forth, there was not a single time that the phone actually lagged. And this is a phone that I have had for almost an entire year and there, I have it never reset the phone. It's got all the apps that I use on a daily basis. And as you can see, it's working just fine after a year, contrary to what many people say. All right, so make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech, give this video a thumbs up, and of course, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for the latest updates at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day, and like I said, Drop any comments, questions, or concerns down below. All right, have a great day.